so whilst we have a bit more time on our hands in isolation it seemed like a good time to get uh, set up with Max's new tunnel so Ernie's this nice little black staffy you can see here and that's his big brother Max so Max helps Ernie to feel a bit more confident about things so you can see that he's straight in there having a good old nose at this cardboard box uh, so I tend to let them open deliveries with me because that does help to build their confidence with the unknown a little bit so you can see Ernie is about to jump on top of the box so he's certainly not worried by it uh, so even though it's quite unsteady on his feet he copes with it really really well which is huge progress just in itself so this is actually a completely new type of object for Ernie so you're going to see how gradually I'm going to go with introducing it so that we can avoid any negative experiences because these are going to be more difficult to work through later on so instead we're going to set him up for success right from the beginning and hopefully have lots of fun in the process so he's had the opportunity to explore the tunnel whilst it's just flat on the floor. He doesn't have any hesitation at all, as Max doesn't either, as you can see. So if they did have any hesitation, then I would just leave the tunnel on the floor so then they could explore it um, a little bit more in their own time. So we want to be looking at their body language all the time. So as you can see, everybody seems quite happy and waggy. Tails are up, nobody's hesitant to go near the tunnel. So I'm using food to lure them through so they know what it is um, that they're supposed to do with the tunnel. But I'm only using this because they are both comfortable with it. So the last thing we want to do is use food to lure a dog into a scary situation because that could actually make them worse. So now I've only seen Max do this a few times. Hopefully he'll be more comfortable to go through it too. So as you can see, he's quite happy to go through the tunnel and get his treat. So now we're going to start very gradually increasing the length of the tunnel. So we want to do it so slowly that it's not going to be a shock when he turns around and sees the tunnel. So he barely really notices that it's getting longer. So in a moment I'm going to make a decision to actually secure the tunnel in place because I'm starting to worry that the tunnel may move whilst he's walking through it um, and put him off from doing it again. And we're just going to see Max go through the tunnel and offer a nice little foot target on the cardboard box as an added extra. So it can be tempting to move on really, really quickly um, because we just want to get on with seeing things um, at their end goal. But it's really worth doing lots of repetitions. So I do that with Ernie, but I haven't shown all the repetitions just for the length of the video's sake. But you will see how gradually the length of the tunnel increases. So because of how sensitive Ernie is, if I had tried to introduce the tunnel straight away at this sort of length, he would have been quite scared by it. He wouldn't have wanted to go through and our progress would actually have been much slower. So now we're able to do the full length of the tunnel. The next step will to be adding a little bit of a curve to it. So I'm still making sure he can see light at the other end of the tunnel, as it were. Um, and again, Max is demonstrating really nicely there. I think mostly he just doesn't want to be left out. Um, but of course, he's acting as a great demo dog for Ernie as well. So you can see Ernie's quite happy to go through there, even though there's a slight bit of a curve. So now you're going to see me push my luck. We get a misfire. The tunnel is probably too dark. Um, it's changed how it looks quite a lot. So he needs a little time to think about it, but he does come back. He has yeah, another go and he gets a bonus treat for being brave. So when introducing new activities, we want there to be a right balance between challenging, but doable and of course fun.